Hey everybody, this is Mr. Storm and this is it. This is your second power standard for this class, for this term. Next term we're going to get into some more power standards, but this is it. If you passed the, the uh, review quiz at the beginning of the term and you do well on this project, you will have passed this class for this term. So let's talk about the power standard. There's really not much to do. So you're going to download this game rat race i started it and i never finished it because i was lazy and i figured hey why don't i let my com computer programming 2 class finish it for me you're going to need two scripts for this project you're going to write two of them one is going to handle the main character's movement and collision detection hey that sounds a whole lot like what we've been doing for the last two weeks it is um one other thing you're going to have to handle in here is my I'll explain in just a second. So we'll talk about that in a minute. So you're going to handle the main character's movement and collision detection for one script. The other script is going to handle enemy movement, and it's going to be attached to the enemy um, objects in the game. Now, here's the deal with the enemy movement. Let's take a look at the game itself first. So this is essentially what the game is. This is um, Rat Race. And you are this main piece of cheese. You are the main character of the game. You're the main piece of cheese. And so the character movement script is going to go onto this piece of cheese. Now, the object is to collect all of the cheese balls. All of these cheese balls. So if we look here, there are oof, a number of cheese balls. I don't even know how many there are. I think 50 maybe. I don't know. You'll have to count them out because in the cheese script, in the player movement script, you're going to need to create a or use your on trigger or on collision method. Well, let's take a look at these cheese balls. Uh, let's see. It looks like they have they are triggers. So your on trigger method is going to need to look for the name cheese ball. If it finds an object with the name cheese ball, it's going to add one to a counter that you create, just a variable that handles a number. Um, you're going to add one to the cheese ball variable. Once the cheese ball variable reaches a specific threshold, meaning the amount of cheeses that are on the maze, which again, I'm not quite sure. I think there's probably 50. Once 50 cheeses have been reached, it triggers the end of the game. Um, and the end of the game is essentially this scene that says you win. It's just a, a GUI that just pops up and says you win, press escape to close. That's pretty much it. That's the whole game. Um, now, here's one other challenge. So we don't need to handle colliding with the walls. All we need to do is handle uh, triggering the cheese and we need to handle colliding with the rats. Now the rats, we don't want them to just stay stationary. We want these rats to actually move back and forth. So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna write a script that starts the rats moving in a direction, and whenever they collide with a wall, you are going to multiply their direction by negative one. See what I mean there? All you're doing is changing their positive one direction to a negative one. Or if they're going negative one, we're going to multiply it by a negative one, which is going to turn into a positive one. We're basically reversing the positive positivity and negativity of that movement, right? Now, if they're moving back and forth, then it's horizontal movement. If they're moving up and down, then that's vertical movement. So we're going to change the H here. We're going to change the Y here. Make sense? I don't know. We'll find out if you can figure it out. Um, but once you do figure it out, this game... Uh, is pretty much almost done. I mean, honestly, just a little bit of programming and you can make this game actually work. Um, I'm going to let you go ahead and get started. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, and uh, yeah, good luck.